Hi, it's Jen back with the Little Garden House series. This time it's for spring. This is the Fox Homestead collection by Stacy West. I love the kind of country look for spring. Um, we have our lovely house with, of course, our blooming flowers that we made with a yo-yo maker from Clover. I'm um, excited to introduce that. It's a fun way to be able to make a little yo-yo and we've got a cute little button for the center. Of course, that will be included in your kit as well. All laser cut, you know, no, no tracing, no uh, cutting out of, of the applique shapes. We'll be doing that for you. So like we did with the little garden house in autumn, we're offering this on a reserve. So you can reserve that kit and say, yep, please keep one of those limited kits for me. It will include this beautiful backing as well. And then, of course, when the kits are ready, we'll head those your way, patterns included. Uh, backings include everything's there. I love that. Some of the things that you might want to add on to that kit as you're reserving it, of course, is the thread set. That's what we use to go ahead and stitch down all of our applique shapes to the background and anything else that you're seeing on the table. Specifically, we love using our light box and our Aplifuse mat in conjunction with the layout diagram that will be in your pattern. And what that allows us to do is pre-assemble the house and be able to move that onto the background as an assembled unit. The same thing with your fence. So you're not having to move pieces onto the background one by one. It's a great process. Um, the other thing, uh, rulers that I would say would be one I'd want to call your attention to, which would be a lovely one to have, not a must have handy though, would be our two and a half inch. Really helpful when we're cutting all, all of our checkerboard uh, kind of units and we're starting to assemble the checkerboard at the top. And of course, we know that whenever there's precise piecing like a checkerboard, we might want to be using some quarter inch uh, aids to help us be true to that quarter inch seam allowance. And of course, patchwork pins, uh, fresh needle for your sewing machine, the fresh blade for your rotary cutter and so on. So really fun project. All of the four of the Little Garden House series projects will be the same size, of course, varying for each season. We started with November. I have something special in mind for you for the winter one, which I'm actively working on right now, will be introduced a little bit later on in 2023. So we're skipping right now ahead to spring, so you have a chance to reserve that. And as soon as those kits are ready, we'll head them your way, of course. Let a friend know about this fun uh, new project as well. And if you haven't subscribed, you absolutely want to do that. We have so much uh, in mind for you for 2023. It's going to be a year like no other. And I can't wait to see you on many more Shabby Fabrics videos.